Hi, everybody. Lori here for My Favorite Things. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got another clean, simple, colorful. You know how I like to strip it up? Well, this is like a swoopy strip it up. So I'm very excited about that using some new June release products. This is called the In Your Corner Dynamics and is a fun, swoopy, strippy dye. And this is a sentiment set called Pride is for Everyone. A lot of great sentiments in there. But let's get to the swoopy stripping it up. I have an array of delicious rainbow uh, strips of solid color cardstock. So in the swoopy, or what's it called? In your corner dynamics, there are seven swoopy stripes. So if you wanna do them all in different colors, you're gonna need seven um, pieces of solid color cardstock, unless you wanted to die cut this all in white and color it with Copics or with ink blending. You can do a lot of different ways to add different color to your swoopy strips. I used strips of solid color cardstock and I'm trying to die cut a few at once. I just lay them on top of that die around about where I think the strip is, but sometimes you just gotta die cut one strip at a time. Let's see how many times I can say strip in this video. Okay, so we're working our way through the warm tones, strip it up rainbow. I'm gonna be one at the top, it's gonna be like warm tones. And then the grouping, I'm gonna do another grouping at the bottom of the card with more cool tones, so to speak, I think. I'm digging it. A uh, lot of different variations you can do with this in your corner dynamics. But as soon as I saw it, I was like, ooh, a swoopy strip it up die. Okay, so now now this one here, I will say I made a mistake. I only had six colors. I started with green and ended it with purple, but I had to end up adding another extra yellow when I was finished because I realized I missed one somehow. It's okay, it all works out in the end. If you don't have to, by the way, you don't have to do seven. You could stop at five or three, add as many or as little as you wanna, okay? And I'm doing a, what do you call this? Like a portrait. So a vertical style card, but you could also make this like landscape and do the swoopies on the, on the right and the left. It's another cool variation you can do. Okay, so there you have your cool tones on the bottom, your warm tones on the top. And what I'm gonna do here is adhere these onto some scrap white cardstock because I'm gonna pop up the strips. You know, sing it with me, because dimension is life. So I put a little tape runner on the white cardstock and I'm gonna adhere each one of these little swoopy strips. Now, as far as what brand of cardstock this is, a lot of it is Concord Ninth. Some of it could be my favorite things. Some of it, I just don't even know. And you know what, here's the thing. I don't know if you're like me. I have cardstock that's 10 years old. I remember back in the day when I got started with card making, I got started with a Stampin' Up! party and I used to buy a lot of Stampin' Up! cardstock and I probably still have some of it mixed in there. I don't know, but lately I've been buying, you know, all the brands, I love all the brands, but uh, I, I've been trying to organize my cardstock. So here's the thing, do you organize by brand? Do you organize by color? It's, it's, a, it's a controversial topic. Same with stamps. Do you organize your stamps by like, organize all your stencils? your dies, or do you organize by brand? I tend to organize by brand. It seems to be easier for me because I do this like for a job. So I know if I'm looking for something with my favorite things, I go straight to my my favorite things bin, you know? So that's working for me, but I will tell you what, do not take organization tips from Laura Fedora, okay? She's a big old hot mess. She's a big old gong show, but I am working on it. I'm a work in progress. I bought some organizational um, like magazine, what do they call magazine racks? And that's how I've been organizing my cardstock. And then next I'm going to, Hubby's been helping me. We are gonna try to get some Calyx units and get some storage solution for my inks. That's the next thing that needs to get organized is the ink situation. Oh, heavens to Betsy. And I'm very excited about that. So it's on the horizon. Things are looking up, people. Uh, okay, working on this. Now, like I said, I did six here, and I, later I had to add a yellow because I just felt like it, it was missing a yellow. Uh, now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna carefully trim this out. I sped this up, but I did go quite slow because I wanted to get it as close as I could to the edge. 
And I actually kind of went a little bit under that last strip so you wouldn't see any white cardstock. And this is going to um, allow me to pop up these swoopy strips. And I did end up cropping a little bit off of each side, the left and right, because I love a good border on my card base. I got to come up with a jingle for how much I love a border or a margin. And I'm going to think on that, but I need a good border jingle just so I can drive some people crazy. Okay. All right. So there you have your two little swoops trimmed up and ready to go. Now for the sentiment, I loved this big, bold love. This is from the pride is for everyone. I'm going to stamp that in black ink right in the center of a panel here. Now I'm just laying these down temporarily just so I know exactly where to center that big, bold love sentiment. You can see on my bottom grouping of stripes, I added the yellow one. Okay. So there you got that big, bold, love. It's such a great font. I'm going to use VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp that right onto the white panel. I did stamp it twice to make it nice. You know, you, sometimes you just got to, when you got a big, bold sentiment, you got to stamp it twice to make it nice. I don't always show that, but that's what I do most of the time. Okay, here I didn't show it, but I did. Okay, so there you got the love. And then now I put foam tape on the back, you know, popping it up. So there you go. And this dimension gives that great little shadow and it kind of frames and draws the eye in towards the love. And then I'm going to uh, pop this up onto a white card base. So check out that beautiful white border around the edge. It's just the icing on the cake. Now I'm going to emboss a little sub sentiment from the pride is for everyone. I'm going to emboss the one that says always wins. I'm embossing it in white onto some black cardstock. So I ink that up with Versamark ink and I'll pour on some white embossing powder. While I do this, I get my embossing gun piping hot, piping hot, so that when you go to emboss, it goes very, very quick and you have the least amount of warpage. And also I usually have tongs or tweezers so you don't burn your thumb off. Okay, I'm gonna trim this down. I love to use my little mini guillotine trimmer. I feel like I can get exact straight trims. That's not the word for it, but that's what I'm using. Okay. So I love this little always wins sub sentiment to pair with love. A little bit of foam tape on the back, nestle that right underneath there. And then uh, to finish it off, not that it needs anything else, but I couldn't resist a little bling using some sparkling clear sequins, Barely Arts glue, and this card is finished. It feels very clean and simple, but you got that cheerful color, a great heartfelt sentiment. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and check out the rest of the June release with my favorite things. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.